What's up guys, it's Willie the Tech Guy here and 2023 has been an amazing year when it comes to technology. We've seen from the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S23 to the Z Fold 5 to the Oppo N3 and amazing devices that have come out in 2023. And Kamakawaida, as you guys know, we wrap up the year, we're doing a 2023 wrap up and I have an amazing guy here with me, he's called Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy is the is the guy at uh, Price Point and he has an amazing team and we are just here we just want to wrap up 2023 together from a perspective one year dealer to perspective yeah you know us guys some of us as uh, customers just to see, get to see how 2023 was. Okay. Well Jeremy tell us a little bit about yourself Kwanza. Well, there's uh, not so much to say. Uh, um, the founder of Price Point Electronics, uh, basically a consumer electronics website. Um, uh, ideally, I'm here because of the 2023 wrap up mm. for phones. Mm. I've been in love with phones since I was a child. <laughs> so I hope my uh, input will be very uh, useful today. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, ideally, uh, I am my work. So, <laughs> price point, uh, price point Kenya, Jeremy. Jeremy price point, <laughs> nothing much more. Yeah, that's Jeremy for you guys. And uh, Jeremy, uh, 2023, from a dealer's perspective, what would you say? Ni simu gani zimekuwa ziki ziki trend? What are some of the phones you've sold the most? Najua kuna zile zile tunaitanga. They are the best for us as techies. Yes. But they are those they are those phones that people are actually buying uh, the most. Uh, na unajua kwa smartphones we categorize into three categories. Yeah. We have um, budget ama low end, we have the mid range and then we have premium high end. So, kwa, for example, kama kwa high end, what, has, what is the phone that you've sold the most for 2023? Well, uh, to be very honest, uh, I think as techies, sisi tukiangalia simu, uh -huh. we are mostly fascinated in specs. We're like, yo, this simu is a CG, Snapdragon, what, 8, Gen 2, etc. Mm. Uh, but that's from our point of view. Mm. But when it comes to... Uh, uh, the end user, mm -hmm. then they want something either expensive yeah. or just functional. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think um, uh, in 2023, I've seen a, a trend of um, people leaning towards uh, flagships that are affordable. Yeah. You know, so like someone would rather uh, spend uh, say 50 to 60K on a 2020 or 2021 flagship okay rather than buy a 2023 mid-range phone mm. you understand mm. so i've seen a trend of people leaning more towards um uh maybe if it's iphone users they want to get 11 pro maxes they want to get uh excess maxes mm. if it's android people are leaning towards uh, uh the s10 series s10 5g uh, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra, uh, but mostly in 2023, the flagship that has sold the most, I think, with my data, mm. is uh, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Mm. That one has been the champion of the year, mm. by far, closely followed by uh, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. Yes. So to say my 2023 S23 Ultra Sana. Uh, well, in in my opinion, I've owned an, uh, an S23 Ultra. It's it's an amazing phone. It it's is a, an amazing phone. Uh, it is an amazing uh, an amazing phone. Yeah. Uh, and 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 personally, that is my go-to phone. Ni majaribu simu mingi sana, but S23 Ultra. Uh, I think. Uh, I understand why people buy it uh -huh. a lot. Nizile simu ukiwa na yo mtu anakuambia yu ni simu gani? Nani how much? Neza ipata aje, etc. Yeah. So I think those two phones have really uh, held the market in mm. terms of the high-end phones. Mm. Uh, of course the 15 Pro Max as well, but that price tag, mtu anasema wacha ningoje kidogo, kidogo ishuke. they ishuke shuke. Yeah. And, and it's true because uh, the thing about iPhones is when they hit the market, they're really expensive. Mm. 
like the 15 Pro Max, the first time it was sold, the 256 version in Kenya, it went for around 325k, which is crazy. Mm. Yeah, right now the phone is retailing for around 235. Yeah. So people are right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's interesting. Like in, okay, in as much as Najua, kuna, they are, I think the more we get tech, uh, tech savvy, the people are appreciating more to buy flagship the previous years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bado kuna watu wanaona mid range. Right. So kwa mid range, what would you say ni, was one of the most sold phones? Yeah, Galaxy A34. A34. Yes. Samsung Galaxy A34. Interesting. Um, Oppo Reno 10. Mm -hmm. 5G. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, in mid range, those two phones really. Mm. Zime, Zime Uzo Sama. Uh -huh. Yes. Of course, there is also the um, uh, the Galaxy A54, uh -huh. KMS Onga. Uh -huh. uh, iPhone now and mid range. Yeah. Every year they release a high end. <laughs> so mid range iPhone ni high end year. Yeah, yeah, previous, yeah, previous year. Yeah. So uh, with that in mind, I think uh, Apple iPhone 13 mm. is on the own. The same as mid range is me. Zime tembea sana 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 sana. Mm. Uh, but hapo mimi neza pea crown na ni neza pati ya A34. A34. Galaxy A34. It's a very sweet spot phone. Oh. Where's the money low end? Where's the money high end? Yeah. Kutu mahali, yeah. like you can't, it's one of those phones that you can nayo. Mm. Ukiongea watu wata kusikia. <laughs> Ukiongea watu wata kusikia. You know, it's interesting because for me, it's, I wouldn't consider, just consider it 34 kama nini, kama mid-range, lakini, especially with, uh, which, which is something maybe ina zataka tuguzie, with the rising trend in smartphone mm. prices. Because mm. sasa kama kuna kitu that, I, I, Iko kwa market saini, phones are becoming more expensive. Yes. And maybe maybe as a dealer you can also tell us why from your perspective. Because uh, I would previously have considered A34 kama low end. Okay. Because uh, of the features zake. But mm -hmm. when we hit now how much it costs, yeah. now it approaches, it approaches the, the, the mid-range mid yeah, uh, category. So that would be the A34 number one, along for Oppo Reno 10 5G number Reno two. Reno 10 5G number two. Then the 54, of course. A 54. Yes, which go price wise the, towards the 50s. Towards the 50s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and again, I think in Kenya, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. how we categorize high end, mid range, and budget yeah. is not at a specs wise, it's, it's price wise. Price, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh, 90,000, 80,000, and above. Yeah. Bro, you, you have a high-end phone. Yeah. Because uh, not so many people are going to spend 80k on a phone. On a phone. Yeah. You understand? Uh you want to ya 40k to 60k, uh -huh. you have a mid-range phone. Yeah. You have a mid-range phone. And the trend really, na, um, I think uh, a, company, a company like Xiaomi, they've really understood that aspect, yeah, how Kenyans, or rather, I don't know if it's a global mentality, mm. but how people value phones. So ukiangalia simu za Xiaomi between 40k na 70k, yeah. you have some crazy specs on those phones. Yeah. Your Redmi uh, Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, that's a seriously, seriously, seriously good phone. Mm. Um, ukiwa na, mean ukiwa na yu simu, mimi according to me I have a high-end a high phone. A high-end phone, yeah. yeah. As much as it's really a, a mid-range phone. Mm. Yeah, so I think uh, in Kenya we mostly categorize phones na bay as compared to specs. Mm -hmm. And again, a lot of times we get inquiries, mtu wakuulizi, nataka simu yiko na Snapdragon. Yeah. Seven, <laughs> nakuuliza, boss, simu ya, ya 40k ni gani, gani, you know. Uh, then, uh, unampea like options, and unamambia, so hii na compare na hii hivi. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking for simu ineza fanya ABC, then go for this, mm -hmm. go for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yes. That's interesting. And na kwa low end, you know, it's got on one single 20k. Wako, 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 wako. Uh. Um, kuna simu in a it to a Oppo A18. Uh -huh. Kuna simu in a it to a Samsung Galaxy A14. Uh. Kuna simu in a it to a 
na watu wa techno wasiniue hapa mimi kwangu hiyo ni low end kuna simu inaitwa techno spark 10 pro mm. so it's a good phone mm. it's a good phone mm. Uh, but uh, mimi in my own perspective i feel hiyo ni it's a say this ama ni mid range hiyo simu mm. it has some good specs but naza sema kwa category ya uh, budget phone mm. tuziita hivyo hiyo pia iko hapo mahali mm. so Oppo A18 Galaxy A14 Techno Spark 10 Pro uh, simu gani nyingine naza sema oh kuna Redmi A2 plus mm. Yeah. Xiaomi mm. which is really really on the lower end yeah. around 13k hapo mm. then finally kuna the new Redmi 12 yeah okay. so those five phones i think if you are on a tight budget mm. you'll get some good, good specs good. kwa kwa hizo simu okay yeah so to to wrap is a segment off the 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 best uh, high end premium phones were S23 Ultra followed na uh, 14 Pro Max 14 Pro Max Kwa mid range we had the um, the Samsung A34 correct followed by the Oppo Reno 10 correct. 5G and correct. then the the A54 correct then uko kwa kwa low end you had the Oppo A18 the yeah. Samsung A14 and the uh, Techno Spark 10, Techno Pro. Spark 10 Pro correct that's interesting na na okay for us when we most guys to recommend ya say simu za za 30k I think one of the most recommended phones then you see to me recommend to many people that were buying phones yeah. under 30k was the Redmi Redmi Note uh, 12 uh, how would you say your phone is fair um again uh -huh. like I said show me wameelewa balance ya bay na specs yeah you get mm. like kupata samsung ya 25000 for mm. example na specs zenye unaweza sema ni decent uh -huh. ni challenging uh -huh. but uki move towards redmi mm. the, the note 12 redmi 12 redmi note 12s mm. exactly mm. like you get some really good specs on these phones mm. na pesa uta spend pia mm sio mingi wase understand so i feel like um redmi has understood that and the kind of phones they want to release mm -hmm. uh, ziko fairly priced for the spec mm -hmm. personally i think ile simu itauza the most na nineza niko it's good it's on record yeah. in 2024 uh -huh. is redmi not 13 redmi not 13 hiyo ndio personally i think the top selling phone in mm. 2024. Mm. We can't wait to see. We can't wait to see. <laughs> I, I personally, uh, I mean, well, to Masema, yeah. if I was on a budget, that would actually be the phone that I'd go for because I feel Eco spec to Missouri. Yeah. I think the only challenge in, in, in Eco na Redmi is people have not yet developed a perfect relationship with your brand. Right. Because uh, this is Kenya. Kenyans uh, have a relationship first with the brand and then now with their product later. Yes. Like mini msewa Samsung alafu, unanunuwa mask yeah. simu za Samsung. Yeah. Mimi ni msewa Oppo na buy simu. So I think maybe Kenyans just need to develop a, a bit more better relationship na, na Xiaomi. Personally, I think uh, I can't blame Kenyans. <laughs> I blame uh, the company itself. Uh -huh. Take an example of a company like Techno. Uh -huh. Techno ki release simu, mm -hmm. zile ad watafanya, mm -hmm. Uh, for at least the first three months mm -hmm. za launch ya hiyo simu yeah. ni mingi mm -hmm. unaingia youtube bv kipchoge mm -hmm. unaingia youtube bv nyashinski mm -hmm. unaingia youtube you get like there is so much marketing mm -hmm. that needs to be done for any brand mm -hmm. to be popular yeah. in yeah. kenya yeah. like kenyans really need unajua kenyans ni watu tukona trust issues mm -hmm. yeah Tukisha waona tuwaone 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 mm -hmm. tuwazoe tuko like what alone jaribu techno mm -hmm. but Xiaomi doesn't do so much mm -hmm. like hakuna campaign sana mm -hmm. ya Xiaomi phones mm -hmm. eh uh, yeah, Kenya so ni at CC as sellers mm -hmm. tuambie mtaja by the way simu iko poa mm -hmm. 
Social media umetuweka hizi ndio tunawafanyia campaigning like hii simu iko poa hii simu iko poa mm. as compared to techno mtu anasema ah, niliona techno kwa billboard niliona techno kwa youtube kwa youtube niliona techno si juu api oh. you get mm. uh, or infinix which ideally is just the same company mm. so i think uh, with the time with the time mm. and i pia ni muona show me amaanza kufanya fanya hizo vitu wako na brand ambassadors ni nini mm. but with the time mm. uh, the brand will grow in Kenya na itakuwa more of a household household name, name yeah. yeah so um uh again these things take time mm. these things take time but personally i think uh, it will get to that point where mtu atakuja kukwambia kati ya Samsung na hii Xiaomi mm. ichukue gani ichukue gani yeah personally i think itafika hapo but i think i was also told that the only challenge to konayo na na Xiaomi yeah which is the same actually issue we, we also have to an extra to a wide extent na na Apple is they don't sell directly to to Kenya okay. they sell through distributorship right but the advantage ya techno samsung oppo they they they, are, they, are, they are, those companies are based in Kenya yeah. they have kenyan staff they have kenyan, kenyan everything so it's easier for them to kufanya marketing na nini on their own perspective right. Like in Xiaomi I think uh, it's someone who went and, and got the distributorship definitely definitely so Jeremy moment uh, which is a question uh, but um, you told us your your daily driver ile sema unatumia from beginning to end and and you know it's interesting because sababu the fact that uh, your dealer many phones go through your hands yeah and uh, na appreciate maybe na, na nikit maybe we'll, we'll tell guys at the end one of the things you also do especially for your your clients is you take trades yeah uh, which means that many phones go through your hands and right. i believe we mwaka umetumia simu kadha maybe it will be why you settled on the S23 Ultra uh by the way personally i think I think I was among the first 10 people to have that phone in <laughs> Kenya. Vile <laughs> nilitoka hivi. Uh-huh. I did an unboxing na nika nika nikasema ni hii ndio simu nitatumia the whole year. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Eh, but then I, I I I have a certain habit ya ya kuuza simu iko kwa mkono yangu. Jeremy hiyo simu unatumia ndio unataka. Eh. Uh, sawa. Umefika bei chukua. Mm. So I've, I've I've had a chance to like um try out different phones. Mm. Uh I've had a chance to uh for at least a week to mm. test out uh, a certain phone nini nini nimejaribu iPhone 14 Pro nilichukua juu nataka simu ndogo. Unajua mm. ukichukua simu unajiambia nahitaka juu ya hii. Nahitaka juu ya hii. Eh, nime nimetumia nimetumia Note 20 Ultra mm. uh, nimetumia um, eh, 14 Pro Max mm. nimeshinda nime nikitumia simu mingi mm. but one thing i love i love about the S23 Ultra mm. uh, personally is the camera and the battery life those two things peke yake mm kamera kwa sababu sisi kama duka yeah. lazima tupige tupige picha tupige safi safi picha. Yeah. lazima product image ikae a certain way ukiangalia instagram yetu utaona kuna kuna language ya kuna theme so yeah. to speak kuna yeah. theme ya vile tunapiga picha etc mm. etc mm. so uh, um, i think s23 ultra imeweza ku deliver uh, towards uh, mimi kupata the videos and the images zenye zenye nataka tu battery life hiyo simu ina weka charge the whole day mm. i think the only phone yenye imeishida ni 14 pro max again hiyo mm. simu pia inaweka charge sana but um uh, for me battery is really important kwa sababu mimi ni mwanabiashara simu yangu hiyo ziko off yeah. na sitaki kuishi nikijiambia man kifika saa 4 nafaa ku charge mm. kifika saa 10 zi nataka simu ikifika 90% asubuhi mm. um sorted for the whole day maybe ni charge uko saa sa mbili usiku sa zile nafanya mahesabu za duka mm. eh, again the five pillars za simu you would know mm. camera battery display performance na nini ya tatu tano design mm. of course mm. of course i love the way it looks mm. ni simu ukiwa nayo 
mtu akiona anajua hiyo 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 sio simu ya kawaida hiyo so uh, I, i think i've just loved it so much so eager to see what the s24 ultra will bring on will, the table will, yeah will yeah. bring on the table although i've had wametoa their 100 uh, times zoom feature or may replace na 50 i don't know it's just yeah. rumors i was reading about yeah. um but sikumbuki mara mwisho nilitumia hiyo feature yeah, as long yeah, as zoom, yeah, to zoom. Mm. but uh, i'm really eager to see hiyo simu itakaje mm. possibly that will be my my next phone yeah upgrade hopefully <laughs> hopefully and lazy like today i think as much as uh, you know so that we tech is we able to know what's what's coming yeah i think if there's something that they will hype so much with the uh, S24 yeah ni ai right that i think that's what they are going for uh, ai 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 so let's let's at a moment you're interested to see what they right. bring but for me i have used the s23 ultra nika i think kwa sababu pia as you said because of the nature of the work that i do na nini for me i found uh, the the z fold to be an upgrade four or five five okay <laughs> okay eh kwa sababu za pale ukiona mikutano presentations uh one is a phone that makes a statement yeah. two i like the fact that uh, by the way najua i have used the z fold for about 4 uh, 5 months now na i can count the number of times nimetumia ikiwa unfolded really for real how many <laughs> <laughs> zikienda sana japita 15 get out i'm i'm so used to using that phone ikiwa folded yeah i feel for me that uh, the form factor ikiwa folded is very is very nice right. i i can do whatever i need to do i, th- I think it's only when i want to multitask so sasa ndaka kufanya gmail on one side kufanya sub on this other side that i i will open it up but most of the time naitumia ngai kwa unfolded did i mention the s pen for the s23 ultra <laughs> such a you excellent utility tool yeah. like panda sana mtu mm. anakuona umetoa kalamu unaandika anasema eh hey, hiyo ndio gani unapiga ma signature piga ma signature unapend signature kwa simu yeah, yeah. Ndio kusema mambo ya S23 Ultra kuna mtu kwa team yetu anafurahi kwa sababu yeye ndio anatumia S23 Ultra. <laughs> <laughs>